everyone, welcome to the eighth day of Bookmas. And today I wanna to share with you everything that I got for Christmas or bought for myself as kind of a Christmas gift that's related to books. And so, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to share. I didn't get a lot, so this will be a pretty short video, but I am excited about the stuff that I was given or got myself. Um, so first of all, I have two books that were sent to me by other booktubers, so I wanna chat about those first. And the first was, the Spy in the Silver Palace, which is the first book in the Empire Talent series by Jordan Rivet. Jordan Rivet is a self-published author that writes really great fantasy books. I've read three of her books so far and love them. And I'm super excited to start this series by her. And I'll be doing that sometime in 2021. I'd like to start the series. And this was sent to me by Kara from the Wild Book Garden. And she's a good friend of mine here on BookTube. She's great. I'll link her down below so you can look her up. Um, but I'm so thankful to have gotten this because I was kind of holding off buying more of Jordan Rivet's books because I had to finish the other series. But this gives me an excuse to start a new series <laughs> in 2021, um, even if I haven't finished an old one. But I am excited to support a, you know, self-published author as well. So thank you, Kara, for that. It was a really great Christmas gift. And the other one I received was actually for a review, um, but she is somebody that I talk to a lot on BookTube. This is Phased by Victoria Tekken. And um, she, Tori has her own channel called V Tekken Novels. I'll link her down below. So she's a booktuber, but then and an author tuber, and she just published her first book. I'm pretty sure this is her first book. And so she sent me a copy so that I could read it for an honest review. And so I'm going to do that as soon as I can in 2021, probably in February, I'll read and review this book. And it is a paranormal fantasy. I believe it's about werewolves. Yeah, so it mentions werewolves in the back. She said that it will eventually be a series, but I'm really excited to read this first book that's out. And plus her cover art is just gorgeous. I love this. So thank you, Tori, for sending me that. I'm going to read it in the beginning of 2021. And then on to the books that my husband gave me. And he also gave me some other bookish stuff. So basically what I told him was that I wanted, instead of just getting regular paperbacks and stuff like that, because I usually read paperbacks, I wanted a couple like collectible edition kind of books. And so that's what he got me. Books that I wouldn't necessarily buy myself because they're more expensive, but they are beautiful and I'm really excited about. So the first is this collection of Edgar Allan Poe's stories and poems. And I just think that this edition is really beautiful. I think this is called the Canterbury Classics. I should have looked at Canterbury Classics. So if you want to look it up, that's what it's called. And I just think it's beautiful. It has, you know, the bookmark and the gold sprayed edges. And I think it's going to look gorgeous on my bookshelf. And I also just really wanted to read some Edgar Allan Poe this year um, because I haven't read any of his stories in years. I think I was like in school back when I read them. So it's been like at least like 20 years or something like that since I've read something by him. So now that I like Gothic fiction a lot more, I should go back to one of the like kings of gothic fiction. So I definitely want to read some of those stories this year. I'm not going to read that one like cover to cover, like in one round. I'm going to like just pick it up and read stories throughout the year and in the future. And the other one that I'm really excited about is The Beauty and the Beast. And this is the Mina Lima version. They're the graphic designers and they have a whole series of um, these classics, like children's classics that are illustrated by them. So they both illustrate them and they do these kind of like design things. So like in here is like this almost like pop-up kind of, oops, did I just rip it? Hopefully not, but, but yeah. So they've got like little like design type things inside the book. Um, looks like this has kind of like where the flaps open and stuff like that. And then they also just have really beautiful illustrations. And I like the sturdiness of these books. I think that the same edition comes like with the Jungle Book and Pinocchio and The Little Mermaid and a few others, but I really wanted the Beauty and the Beast one because I've never read the original fairy tale. So I definitely plan on, actually plan on reading this this month because I'm just really excited to finally read Beauty and the Beast. So that one's gonna get read right away. And then the other thing my husband gave me were some t-shirts that are like bookish t-shirts. Um, I've already owned a couple t-shirts from the same place. It's a website called Out of Print and they're all bookish 
um, t-shirts, but then I also like how they have what's called the relaxed fit, which it has like the, the bigger collar. I like that because I found that, I don't know what it is, but I can't wear regular t-shirts anymore that have like the normal shape collar. I either need a v-neck or I need this wide one. And I can't remember what this collar specifically is called, but yeah, I need those kind of t-shirts and I know out of print sells them if you get the relaxed fit version. And so he got me two. This one is the Mandalorian one, Read It Is The Way. And like, basically I just love the child. So yes, that's why he got that one for me. And then this other one, it's pretty obvious when you see it. Books, cats, life is sweet is what it says. And you might know I own three cats and obviously love books. So that's a perfect one to own. And then I own a couple other ones that I had bought myself earlier, but those were my two I got for Christmas. So I'll link that shop down below if you wanna check them out because they have a lot of ones that are like, like this that might be like just general book ones, but then they have ones that are from, that are like the covers of specific books. Like I have one that is like the cover of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So you might have your favorite classic on the list. And then I bought a couple things for myself because I'm an adult and I can buy myself Christmas presents. And plus we get like fun money. And I figure in December, I wanted to get some stuff that I was just looking forward to reading in 2021. So one thing that I have as one of my goals in 2021, if you watched my video, did it come out yesterday? I'm, I'm filming these out of order, so I'm not sure what order they came in, but I think it was yesterday. I talked about my plans for 2021, and one of the things I really want to do is finish series that I have started in years previous, and one of the series I want to finish is The Ark of the Scythe, and I owned the first two books. I had read Scythe, I owned Thunderhead, and The Toll just came out in paperback, so I went ahead and bought the paperback version of The Toll for myself so I can finish that whole trilogy in 2021, and then I went out and bought an entire series which I don't normally do, but I think this one is gonna be really good and one I can like share with my kids. And this is the All Creatures Great and Small series by James Harriet. And basically this is his memoir that he's written in seven different books. This is the UK version if you get this like box set. Um, they have, if you buy them like the American version, like the US editions, they're actually bigger books and they take like a couple of these books and put them in one. So like in the US version, these two first books, which are called If Only They Could Talk and It Shouldn't Happen to a Vet, these two are combined in a book that's called All Creatures Great and Small, I believe. So it takes the name of the the whole series. And then like the next book in the US is the next two. And then the next one is the next two. So like they combine them into bigger books. But I actually am a kind of person that I prefer to read more books that are smaller than reading like 600 page books. I think it's because I feel more accomplished because if I read this whole series, I will have read seven books. <laughs> I don't know. And also it's just easier to hold a small paperback than like a, a thick book. So yeah, I went for this version of the series and I'm really excited. I also love the covers on these. I should show you to, to show them to you. And if you don't know who James Harriet is, I guess I just assume people know it because I grew up reading James Harriet. Um, he wrote, wrote a lot of like picture books for children that were individual stories about the things he did as a vet. And I read them to my kids all the time. They're from my childhood. I own like, I think like six or seven of these like child, maybe I'll put a picture of one here of these picture books. I own all these ones from my childhood still and I read them to my kids. We love them and they take place in the English countryside and he's just a small town vet that does house calls. And so they're just these like beautiful memoirs of his time as a vet in the country. And yeah, I just think all these covers are just so gorgeous and like just the English countryside. So that's why I wanted to own all these because I just love the way they look. And I think these are just gonna be heartwarming. I, there's some hard stuff. Like I think at one point he goes to war. So there's probably gonna be harder things and I'm sure there's gonna be grief and all the stuff that happens in a life. But still, I think that these are also just gonna be beautiful books to read. So I'm excited to actually start this series in 2021 and depending on how things go in the first couple, I might read them with my daughter. Like if it seems like they're the kind of book I could read with her. And the last thing is I wanna talk about my journaling for 2021 and what I'm gonna do. So in 2019, I had bought the always fully booked 
like reading journal um, online. And this is like one that's really popular. A lot of people love this. It's from Little Inkling Designs. She's already sold out for 2021, but if you are interested in it for next year, they're always kind of similar. And I bought this and I was excited for it first in 2020 because it has a lot of like good stuff in it. But you know, you know how 2020 was. I basically made it to halfway through April and then I don't know, we just stopped. Yeah, so by halfway through April, there's nothing. So the rest, May through December, there's nothing, nothing. So I, I mean, I don't know if that's all due to COVID. I just think that I'm not great at doing this kind of book journal. Like, I think this will be great for a lot of people. We'll love this. You should look it up if you want it next year. I think there is some great stuff for people that like to take, you know, like I'm just not somebody that cares about tracking how many pages I read a day or making a plan for every day of the month or like writing down when I finished a book because I do that on Goodreads or, or writing down my individual reviews. So I should have thought about that before I bought this one because, you know, it's a little waste of money, but I'm also supporting a small business, so it's fine. So this year, what I decided to do instead of spending a lot of money on a journal that I know I'm not gonna use, is that I just bought this journal for $6. It still has the like closure thing. It has like a pocket at the back. It's just small, but all it is, it's not even a bullet journal because I don't think I can even do a bullet journal. That's too much effort, like drawing the lines myself and stuff, too much. I just bought a lined journal, like it's just like a normal, lined blank journal because what I want it for is not what most people use it for. I just mostly want it to like checklist things. I love checklists. So I just want to write down like, like I'm doing um, a reading challenge for all of 2021. I want to write down my, the challenges and check them off as I go. If I participate in a readathon, I want to write down the prompts and check them off. That's basically all I want. I want the satisfaction of checking off stuff, but I don't want to have to write all my reviews down or write my page numbers or any of that stuff. Like, I just don't care. I don't want to make the fancy spreads. I think it's great that other people want to do that. I am envious. I watch those videos and I'm jealous of how other people like can do that, can create all these spreads, but I know I'm not going to do it. Obviously I even like bought the like fancy one to try to do that stuff and I, I'm not going to do it. So went for the cheaper route and just using it for the satisfaction of check, checking stuff off. So that's what I did this year for a journal. And that's it, that's all of the bookish stuff that I got for Christmas or bought for myself for Christmas. I'd love to hear if you got some kind of special additions or things that you wouldn't normally buy for yourself if you, or you, maybe you splurged on a nice addition for Christmas for yourself. Um, I'd love to hear about that down below and I will talk to you tomorrow, bye.